Now that balloon is 60,000 feet in the air tonight. And a question we're asking now is, could the balloon cross over Indiana? Brian is back, and Brian, you've been monitoring the balloon and the wind today. Yeah, we're taking a look at it, and earlier on in the afternoon, it was reported that it was moving out and across portions of Missouri. So when you think about 60,000 feet up, uh, that's as tall as some of our most nastiest uh, thunderstorms during the summer months. That's about 11 miles up. But the upper level energy and the upper level atmosphere that it's taking, it would take it in a course that would likely deliver it down towards the south and east, making it tra track across parts of western Kentucky. And it was sighted down near Paducah, so that seems to be the, the track it's taking. The winds aloft would carry it on a bit of an east and southeasterly flow through portions of central Tennessee and then perhaps into the Carolinas by early tomorrow morning. So that is the estimated track of the particular balloon. Again, these are winds high aloft, and you're talking about uh, jet stream winds that would carry it out off to the uh, Atlantic coast by tomorrow. So there were reports of seeing it down in Paducah. Uh, there were reports of seeing it in Missouri, and it was kind of interesting. There were a few more reports uh, identified right around dusk. So that balloon is up at 60,000 feet, so the skies were still illuminating the balloon aloft while it was darker here at the surface, and therefore I think a lot of people were able to see it or at least take pictures of it on social media. You have tracked snowstorms and hurricanes, but uh, never a balloon before. No, but certainly, this is a first. Yeah, the, the winds and the weather have a, an impact a on possible all of this. Spy so, balloon. Yeah.